Hi, welcome to Next Street Elimination. Uh, it's number 22. I didn't record your last two uh, challenges because I got way too clever for my own good and dropped out super early. So I hope I'm gonna do better this time. Uh, I'm playing basically it right as it was posted, so I have no idea uh, how difficult the other uh, the rounds are. So I guess we'll find out. So um, this is our Japanese signs. Um, somewhere, is there any cabbage here? Always look out for the Hokkaido cabbage, or the succulent cabbage, depends on who you, ca who you ask. Um, Mazaki, oh, Google car selfie there. I don't know where any of these places are. Uh, this looks a little bit more like the southern Japan, so, um, go like here okay it was it was actually uh, very close to Hokkaido okay interesting uh, now here it's Chile um, yeah sun is north right yeah I think those are Chil Chilean, uh, Chilean uh, street signs. Might be Argentina as well, but uh, let's go to like this part of the country. Oh no, it was Chile. Okay. Now we have Israel um, or Palestine. Uh, I think this might be a repeat, but I don't remember remotely what it was. That's a really small country, so it shouldn't matter. Let's go like this. It was Palestine. It's almost always Palestine. See, like, Palestine's are really overrepresented uh, in comparison to, like, Israel proper. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's just a statistical quirk. Mm. What is that? Is it Thai? I think it's Thailand. Some mountains over there. I mean, we're already past the threshold. There's mountains there. Um, so we're or could be we could be either in this part like here or here. Go also be a, a wild low. Uh, just in case it's low, I'm gonna go like here. I just came out here. Okay. But I'd like it the Thai and uh, Khmer part. Oh, which is unfortunate, but. Um, yeah, there is this UK, supposedly, based on the flight. So let's just go somewhere in the Midlands. It was Jersey. Ah, I should have recognized the camera. Ah, you know, whatever. It's, I had enough points. Let's move on to see number two. Where are you going? Yeah. All right. Uh, what is this? Um, single line in the middle, I say. Interesting. The Tulsa. Um, I think this is Croatia. Yeah, that's uh, that's a little sign. It's it's either Croatia or Costa Montenegro. It doesn't really matter. Points wise, yeah, it was Croatia. Um, here it's Guatemala. Where's the car? Costa Rica. 
Cosa de co, cosa de co. Um. Yeah, uh, let's take a quick look if there's a cosa de co in Guatemala I can see. Otherwise, I'm just gonna guess. I'm not gonna bother with this too much. Uh, unless I'm super blind, which I am, uh, I don't see it. It might not be even be a city. Let's go like here. I um, no, it was not. Uh, it was not a city. Round three is in Asia. Uh, okay. Driving on the left, it seems like Muslims. I think in Indonesia on this one. Uh, well, I, I guess it could be Sri Lanka, but... Uh, I don't know. I don't really know here. I'm gonna go in Indonesia. Okay, that's Indonesia. I'm gonna... I'm sure ever since I saw that... Uh, uh, I, saw, I once saw uh, a poster on Sri Lanka which has a bunch of people in like headdresses, uh, so uh, I have no idea there were Muslims there, or like a sizable community, so uh, I've got kind of aware of that. Anyway, so somewhere in Argentina. Um, yeah, probably. Probably not gonna. Argentina and Juan Rafael, maybe? I, I, I don't know. So, city like that. San Rafael. Mm, San Rafael. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna find pinpoints. Okay. Uh, my Mouse is dying. And number five is in Italy. I believe. Uh, well, I guess, I guess it could be Portugal. From a view like this, it's kind of a tough call. Like those. Those white houses over there make me think maybe me lean more towards uh, Portugal, to be honest. But like views like these make me think of Italy more. But I'm pretty sure this camera is more common in Italy. So I don't know. I can see this scene in either of those countries. I'm past this threshold, but I'm uh, in a bit of a dilemma here. I'm gonna go for Italy again. It doesn't matter. Let's go for Italy, but I'm like 50 50 on that. Okay, it was Italy. Um, uh, Sicily actually. Okay, very good round. Next up, the dreaded 15k round. It's uh, a fail running very often, which is why I must pay attention here. Um, uh, this is a guy driving on the left in Asia somewhere. Uh, well, it's not a lot of, not a lot to work with here. Um, this could be, could be Thailand, it could be Sri Lanka, 
could be Indonesia. Uh, that's to say, I'm, I'm going to go for Thailand. I got it, Sri Lanka, of course. I knew it. Uh, anyway, this is in the UK somewhere. I have a feeling it's red and north. Let's go to like Leeds. Okay, not bad. Uh, this is uh, Luxembourg. Yellow plates. Luxembourg. Oh, right by the border. Interesting. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, uh, this is pretty curious. Um, now, where could this be? Uh, Taiwan? I think that guy's driving on the right. I think he does. Let's go for Thailand, uh, Taiwan. Uh, get, I need to change batteries in my mouse. Oh, we're, some kind of, uh, we're in some kind of wallet, maybe here? Oh, close enough. Okay, cleared, for, cleared 15k. That's good to see. Uh, it's kind of sad. It's kinda, that's an accomplishment for me. We're somewhere in France. Um, lovely flowers. I have a feeling this is somewhere rather south, but not too south. Um, yeah, let's go for like Lyon. Clermont Fram. Oh, that. Oh, yeah. Ah, it doesn't matter. Let's go for Clermont Fram. Okay. I guess those were just decorative flowers then. Never mind. Yeah, she went with the junk, I guess. Uh, maybe should have risk it, risked it. Because, like, um, I had just the. Instinct that uh, Thailand usually tends to be cloudy and Sri Lanka tends to be sunny, but uh, I don't actually remember if that's the case everywhere, so I didn't want to rely, rely on that. Now, uh, we seem to be in Canada. Uh, I think it's some, this is somewhere in the west. But uh, what is it? It's kind of tough to tell here. Those kind of houses, uh, I think you would see more in the east. Um, or it could be a rare American city with. Uh, Blue street signs. I think I know they exist. I just don't know where exactly. Tough. This is tough. Like, I do not see any mountains, but there might be. I'm gonna make a Big risk and go for like uh, Eastern Canada. Okay, it was Ontario. That's a bit better than I was expecting. Not great, obviously, but a bit better. Uh, how the hell is this? This is in Bangladesh. Yeah, Bangladesh somewhere. Uh, maybe Dhaka. I'll, I'll go for Dhaka. 
Okay. Next up, uh, concrete road. But is it the Philippines or Thailand? Oh my god, why are there no roads? Uh, I mean, no cars. Because you see, you see concrete roads in uh, the Philippines a lot, but I know I got baited by a round like this before, and it actually turned out to be uh, turned out to be Thailand. Can't see any text or any cars that would tell me the direction of the road. I'll, I will risk it and go for the Philippines. But I wouldn't be surprised if this was actually Thailand. I thought Philippines just completely the completely wrong part of it. Okay, now we are in uh, Jordan. No, wait. Uh, no, this is Tunisia. Yeah, this is Tunisia. I just saw. Uh, I don't see the French. So let's go somewhere somewhere in Tunisia. People aren't black, right? Yeah. Well, let's go for Sus uh, for Sus because it's in the middle. Okay. And number five is somewhere in the Baltic states. Uh, and I'll do what I almost always do and go for. I've gone for the border of Latvia and uh, Lithuania because I don't think it's going to be Estonia. Of course, it was Estonia, just as I finished saying that. Uh, okay, not, not a great round, especially because of Canada. Uh, not a bad, so that's all that matters. Now, uh, start out in the Baltics again. Some polar roads on everything I can see. Uh, yeah, let's go for like uh, let's go for like uh, Latvia again. I was Lithuania this time. Okay, here where do you have Peligro? Okay, where could this be? Uh, it's a green sign over there. You can see the sun. Could this be somewhere in Argentina? I I I don't recognize this uh, this kind of landscape at all. Like it's. Is this Argentina or is this like some super weird landscape in Brazil I've never seen before? Or something like, I don't know, Ecuador that I didn't, they don't even consider. Or maybe Mexico. I think the sun is north. But I can't be totally sure. It could be there. So that kind of sucks. I definitely haven't seen this kind of landscape before. I think I would remember it. It looks early Nordic. Like. Or like somewhere you'd see in New Zealand. But the road lines I don't think is what you see in Chile. 
It doesn't really fit Southern Argentina either, so what is this? I think I'm getting a zero on this one. If I could just see that. Because I was feeling this has to be super south, but like where? Uh, I, 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 I'm going for it, but... Oh yeah, okay, it was Tierra de Fuego. Okay, um, I have... Um, I was convinced this part of uh, Argentina was more dry than... Uh, than I thought, so uh, that's good. Good knowledge to have. Um, uh, where are we? In uh, I don't know Slovenia. Maybe it's Slovenia. It shouldn't be that far off either way. France. Okay. The archive for Slovenia as well, the, 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 those assets did not look French at all. Um, okay, what is this? Uh, so that's it. If it's somewhere in uh, Eastern Europe. Can't tell if that's Cyrillic or not. And on the script building, as is this. This makes me kind of think it's the Balkans. Um, it might be like Poland. Huh. I'll go for Romania. Serbia, okay. Uh, this should be in Sweden. I maybe sort of remember this uh, this round for a for my round of uh, diverse world we had in I think it was here. Oh my god, nice. Nice. Okay, uh, so I cleared that. Uh, try to remember that it's Argentina. A uh, landscape that could be useful some uh, sometime in the future. Okay, uh, around... So this is an 18k round. Moe... Get... Kicking College. Fur Red Soil. Which I think means it's Swaziland. Uh, is it though? I mean, it's definitely somewhere in the South African region, but. Um, Yeah, I will go for it, I think. What's something like here? Oh, it is in Botswana. I always forget they have mountains in the south. It's such an uncommon, just such, uh, such an uncommon thing in Botswana. Anyway, uh, anyway this is in Iceland somewhere. Uh, the 356, I think the threes are close to the Reykjavik. Yeah, they are. Uh, three sixty-five, three fifty-six. Yeah, let's leave it there. Very good. Uh, now this should be the UAE. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's Jordan. We'll see, I guess. 
highway going for the mountains. So maybe like something like this in charger. I don't need a charger. Mm, okay. Fair enough. Uh, this is Ecuador or Colombia. I always tend to go for Ecuador in these kind of rounds. I don't know why. It is slightly, um, it feels like less tropical or like warm than uh, Colombia. I don't know how to describe it. Uh, maybe maybe it's not like weather at all. Uh, um, but I think it should be in this region. Okay, it was Ecuador. To number five. Oh god, what is this? Where's the sun? Uh, street south. Okay. Uh, very interesting landscape. I have zero idea what continent we are on. This one's south. Feels very Mediterranean, but could this be something like Mexico or? Of, uh, I don't know. Like I don't think this is Europe. This doesn't feel European to me. Maybe it is, but I just I'm going to California or like California. This sort of Mexico. Okay. Interesting. I should have come from Mexico right away. I was, uh, I considered it, but uh, I wasn't sure if it maybe isn't something like crazy up there in uh, in the US. So yeah, okay, uh, fairly decent result, I would say. Let's move on to nineteen k. We are back in Iceland, it seems. Yeah. Uh, no convenient road signs this time. So um, I'll go f fairly close to Reykjavik again. Um, please wake up, mouse. Thank you. Like I mean, most of the people live around here, so yeah. Okay, we now we are in. Uh, Taiwan or Korea? I don't know. I think it's Taiwan. I think those people are just parking randomly and uh, they actually drive on the right. Because I still can't tell, tell apart the Chinese and Japanese scripts as much as I should learn to do that. Yeah, and there's some palm trees. I think it's Thailand. Oh, uh, Thailand. Oh, uh, Taiwan. Okay. Now, this is somewhere in Africa. Uh, is there a cop car following us? Yes. Uh, so it's, it's Nigeria. <clears throat> Horses hanging around. Okay. Uh, I think this is that's a border post. Uh, I think I kind of recognize this uh, location. If I remember correctly, it's close to a border with uh, Benin, somewhere in this area. Yeah. Okay. Because the uh, the new more coverage should go way inland in Nigeria tends to be uh, overcast, so. Uh, you can sort of tell apart uh, the uh, the Legos and the Lego state coverage uh, like that. Also, they have a different uh, cop car flowing them. Anyway, uh, this is in 
Als Latin America, Sun to the North. Yes. Um, um, but somewhere in the Indies, isn't it? Uh, Could be Chile, could be Argentina. Let's go like uh, let's go like this maybe. I'll put more south. Okay. Number five. It's cartoon. It's uh, ir uh, something. Uh, well, this is definitely Russia. This landscape kind of feels like the Baltic states, but... I'm always kind of wary of that, because it could also mean we're like somewhere in the Far East and I just don't recognize it. I mean, if it is, it is. You know, what can you do? And it was Ukraine. I just. Uh, was this 19k or 20k? Uh, let me check. 19k, okay. Uh, either way, I passed. Uh, it wasn't a great round, but you know, what can I do? Kind of an amount. So we're in South Africa or Botswana. Mm. Uh, uh, I think it's more South African when it comes to what region. Uh, I have no idea. Maybe like here. Swaziland, okay. Uh, now we are in Turkey. Kalema, let's see. Mm, don't know where that is, unfortunately. I'm gonna skew towards the west. I'll go for like Eskisa here. Samsung. Fair enough. Uh, This is in the US, I believe. Australia, I don't know. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, the drive on the left. I didn't even notice that. Uh, now, where in Australia is this? Now let's fall. So it looks like it's fairly uh, it's fairly temperate other than that um, honestly no idea some yellow plates I wish I wish I knew what that what that meant is this Canberra Like, I have this weird feeling this is Canberra. I mean, either way, I'm probably out, so I'm gonna go with it. Oh my god, it was Canberra. I don't. Maybe it's. Maybe I'm. Uh, I'm remembered it actually correctly that Canberra has uh, Autumn View. Or maybe just some random location I, uh, I once got there and. Stuck in my head, but I just associate a uh, full, loc full location with Canberra. That is like a really cold place. I don't know, it was pretty lucky as well, though. Uh, now, what do we have here? Driving on the right. Uh, I think this is Tunisia. 
Yeah, olive trees. I think it's Tunisia. Let's go for Tunisia. Okay. And number five. Which I need to basically ace if I want to get. Uh, if I want to want to pass, so which is not gonna happen. So uh, I think I'm ending here. But uh, it should be Peru. I'm kind of less certain of that, but I think it is Peru. Now, of course, it could be the far north or it could be the far south. You never really know with Peru. Or I guess you, know, you do know if you if you're good at Peru, but I'm not. Uh, I don't know. That was Chile. Okay. Um. Yeah, not uh, not great rounds there and there. I probably should have recognized it's Chile, but uh, these two parts of the country look very similar. Uh, wait, was this twenty k or twenty one k? It was twenty k. Okay, so just barely scraped by. Uh, no, uh, yellow plate, so it should be Sri Lanka, unless I'm horribly mistaken, which I might be, turn one left, uh, go for Sri Lanka, okay, uh, oh man, what is this? Interesting place. Uh, some indigenous uh, Indian Americans there. Um, which means this could be like Peru or Bolivia. Where's, where's the sun? Sun is north. So it's in Mexico. Uh, very dry mountains. Uh, let's go for like close to the border between Peru and Bolivia. Like here. Oh, nice. Uh, this is in New Zealand. Yeah, they're in the left, but fed everything. Uh, let's go for like middle of uh, South Island. Okay. I feel like we very rarely get uh, North Island. I don't know why. This here is Germany. Germany. Uh, the architecture. Uh, I don't know. Uh, could be in, uh, in the Bavaria. It's kind of tough to tell. I don't know. Uh, like statistically, we are probably somewhere here, but because we here, here, I don't think we're. Really, I don't think we're in the north. Uh, I'll go here. Ah, it was Nuremberg. Uh, Nuremberg. Okay. Um, number five. Somewhere in the Balkans. Yellow signs over there. Uh, could this be like Croatia or Serbia maybe? Uh, um, no, this is Slovenian bollards, I think. Mm. Well, at least I hope so. Uh, let's go for Slovenia. Okay. Pretty decent round. Uh, let's 
move on to 22k. We're starting in uh, Belgium. Yeah, French speaking part of Belgium. Red signed, uh, red uh, flight, I mean. Yeah. Not very hilly, it seems, so. Might be closer to the uh, border defenders. Let's go for like Namur, maybe. Uh, not quite. Uh, okay. Um, feeling this is in somewhere in Eastern Europe. Uh, kind of dreadful thing. This is Russia. Is this far eastern Russia? I have a feeling this could be far eastern Russia. Cause like where else would it be? Ah, uh, you know what? I'm gonna go for it. Uh, I'm probably it's probably gonna cost me the game. It did. Okay. Fair enough. It's so one time where guessing the middle of country would have actually made it better rather than just losing points. Um, but you know, I should be better at Russia at this point. So this is somewhere in Las uh, Uh I don't think we can recover from that, so let's just finish this seed. It's the flag of uh, Montenegro, as far as I'm, uh, I'm aware, and everything else fits as well. So, okay, close to the coast. This yellow plate. Again, and Hebrew sound so. Should be somewhere in southern Israel. Maybe it's this road. Okay. Yeah, missed it by some hundred points. That's a shame, but uh, you know, Russia. Russia is just uh, just a force of nature. So let's comment our score. Uh, my recording, yes, and finished re uh, remaining two seats. Um, okay, so we're starting off in. Uh, hmm. Interesting road lines. I have a feeling this is Norway. I know Norway uses. Uh, this yellow uh, road line somewhere uh, where when they are expecting heavy snowfall, so maybe this is one of the one of those cases. Okay, very close, nice. Yeah, in Norway you get most of the snowy view. You get like around this area, uh, not that much on the coast. And now we're in the American suburbs. I wish I could recognize the plate. I have a feeling it may be Connecticut, but uh, I'm not super sure about that. It does have front plates. Uh, I'm not sure about the trees. You know what, either way I'm, I'm out, already out, so... Uh, let's just go for it. West Virginia, okay. Oh no, it was it was only island. Okay, interesting. No New York I didn't see any New York plates. That's pretty it's pretty weird actually. Um now here we are somewhere in South America. 
very dry green plate that uh, I don't know what that means. Sun is a cannon or could be Brazil, it could be somewhere like uh, Northern Argentina. Tough to tell. I go for Brazil. Roscombia. Uh, okay. Might have experienced every plate. So I'm going to be advancing out with Round Eater, so that's. Uh, Makes me feel a little bit uh, less bad. Driving on the right. Seems to be driving on the right uh, in Asia. So that should mean the Philippines, right? Like either Philippines or Cambodia. It's an interesting pattern. Uh, I think it's the Philippines, but uh, I wouldn't be too surprised if this it was Cambodia. It was Lao. Uh, God damn it! I always forget about Lao. I was just like literally a flag or something. So yeah, definitely when we advancing out of this, uh, this is in Malaysia. Uh, some mountains here, so probably it's the mainland. Okay, yeah, it was pretty horrible, uh, but it makes me feel a little less bad about dropping out in the previous one. And for the twenty-four k. <clears throat> Yeah, it's an American looking car. Where's the sun? Uh, sun is south. I have a feeling this is like the New England. Uh, something like this. Maine, okay. Uh, now here is Australia slash New Zealand, but I think it's Australia. I uh, don't know when it blights. Don't see any names that I can see. Uh, feels rather temperate, so I'm gonna go for Victoria. Tasmania, okay. Number three. Uh, I think this is Spain. Yeah, I'm pretty confident this is Spain. Uh, it could be Portugal, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it could be Portugal. Uh, could get somewhere in the mainland, uh, like close to the borders. Andalusia, interesting. Number four is uh, in Puerto Rico. Uh, you have all these American cars, no front plates. American chains. Uh, I think this is Puerto Rico. All right, and final round is in Germany. Oh no no no! Uh, wait. Uh, Switzerland. Yeah. Uh, Burn Centrum. Uh, Burn is to the west. 
interesting. I think it might be Peel, because I know that's kind of Peeling Girl. Oh my god. Nice. Yeah, maybe you could have been pointed out, but I don't really want to bother. Because, uh, like, being. Uh, on most maps, like, Peel, uh, Peel is also uh, marked as BN. So it's like. I get this idea that it's like a, a unique the bilingual city. Because I, I think it's like 50 50 uh, German and French speaking. So I thought it might be a good idea to, uh, to go there. So I wouldn't pass, but a very decent game nonetheless. Uh, I think my worst guess was here. Which is kind of unfortunate, but like, you know, it's Australia, I can't expect too much. So, uh, yeah, that went a lot better than my uh, last few attempts, so that's good. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.